Friends of Massachusetts Second Amendment community, John Green with Gun Owners Action League here. And today we're going to talk a little bit about our LTC restrictions, put a big ban sign through that because they're no longer enforceable, and where we can and cannot go with a properly possessed handgun while in the Commonwealth. So, how about this? Thank you very much, Supreme Court of the United States, for recognizing that our Second Amendment civil right is exactly that. It's a civil right. And of course, in the case of New York State Rifle and Pistol Association v. Bruin, SCOTUS has declared that restrictions are a violation of our Second Amendment civil rights. So what Massachusetts legislature did very recently is they added language and also removed language with regard to restrictions for LTC holders in Massachusetts. You can take a look on the screen behind me and do a little bit of your due diligence and, and read section uh, chapter 140, section 131, sections four and sections five to see the, uh, the new statute as printed. That should be done very, uh, very soon, according to Mike Harris, Goals Policy uh, Director. So, fresh off the Firearm Records Bureau's webpage, we see this statement declaring that restrictions on both resident and the Massachusetts temporary LTC, often referred to erroneously as the non-resident LTC, that any restriction on said license is no longer enforceable. Firearms Records Bureau is also offering to reprint licenses provided that they get the uh, request from your issuing authority. So if you currently have a restricted LTC, I'd recommend printing out a copy of the statement from Firearms Records Bureau, carrying that with you, and then stopping down your local police department to uh, request a new license be printed with, of course, the term none in the restriction field. So with that said, all that great news, let's talk about the short list of where we can't go with a properly possessed gun in Massachusetts. When I say properly possessed, I'm talking about a pistol or revolver, and we have a valid LTC. Check those expiration dates while you're at it, folks, and begin the renewal process approximately four months prior to the license expiring. All right, here we go. Schools, Chapter 269-10J. Uh, it consists of elementary, public, and private uh, colleges, universities, high schools, junior highs, middle schools. You cannot have a gun on your person while in or on school property unless you have the written permission from the board or officer in charge. Of course, uh, law enforcement, uh, off-duty police officers are exempt from that section of law. We aren't under the guise of the Gun-Free School Zone Act, that federal act, uh, because we're exempted by the fact that we hold a license from uh, the state that we reside in. Federal buildings to include post offices. Years ago, we could carry in a post office. Now we can't. Here are the, uh, here are the citations uh, if you want to research that a little bit further. Folks, we're not even supposed to have an unloaded and secured handgun in our motor vehicle while in or on post office property. But go figure, citizens can ship rifles and shotguns through the U.S. Postal Service, and dealers can ship handguns through the U.S. Postal Service. Just can't walk in with an armful of long guns and use their free bubble wrap. Logan Airport. Logan Airport has both a statute and a code of Massachusetts regulation. The statute covers weapons past the security area of the airport, and the CMR covers uh, our personal protection handguns while on Massport property. So a little bit more about the CMR. It requires that guns be in one locked container and ammunition be in another locked container. Uh, we are not to have that a gun on our person while on Massport property. So folks, if you're picking up the in-laws during a Christmas holiday, remember you're not supposed to have that firearm uh, in or on your person while on Massport property. When we're flying with guns, definitely download the airline carrier's weapons policy, package the gun accordingly. Do note that most of the airlines are going to request that the ammunition and gun be in the same container, and that contradicts our CMR here. State House under the uh, Mitt Romney, Mitt Romney created a memorandum that prohibits the carrying of a properly possessed firearm 
in state house in the state house so we can secure that one in our motor vehicle if we're going to go and have a discussion with our elected officials courts new trial court weapons policy prohibits uh, firearms inside the courtroom casinos love this cmr <laughs> it's the only one that i've ever read that says Casinos must create a weapons policy that prohibits uh, casino goers to, from carrying guns or having guns in their motor vehicle on campus. And if they're caught, uh, casino officials are to turn them over to the attorney general's office. So folks, if you're gonna gamble in the Commonwealth, leave the gun at home. Again, we're not supposed to have it in or on casino property. Possession while under the influence, 26910H, one of my favorites. It doesn't give us a BAC. It uses the very subjective terminology under the influence. And not only does it cover alcohol, it covers marijuana, the vapors of glue, stimulants, narcotics, and depressants. So definitely be aware, no BAC associated with that. Where other states, Utah, 0 0.08, Louisiana, 0 0.03. Texas, you can't have a gun in an establishment that serves more than 51% of its annual revenues in the sale of alcohol, and those places are very very well posted. Massachusetts, approach this one with caution, folks. So personally, if I'm out to dinner with my family, I'm going to have that glass of red wine and uh, only one glass of red wine, and I'm not leaving my gun at home. Terrible things happen to great people in great places. That's why we carry firearms for our protection, and the Supreme Court noted that. Uh, if it's my Thai Friday, we're going to leave the guns at home. Uber, say please and thank you. Don't leave home without your pepper spray and a small folding knife. Recreational vehicles, 90B section 26, prohibits loaded rifles, shotguns, and firearms on a off-highway vehicle here in Massachusetts. So if you're taking out that four-wheeler, three-wheeler, dirt bike, or snowmobile, or side-by-side, -side, make sure that the gun is cased and unloaded. On that note, what a great segue. We have reached out to Massachusetts Environmental Police in light of the Bruin decision, reminding them that a number of hunting laws uh, are no longer enforceable, i.e. not having a, uh, a pistol while we're deer hunting or archery hunting, uh, not being able to carry a loaded pistol while we're on our off-highway vehicle. So more on that. As soon as we hear from uh, the Massachusetts Environmental Police Officers, we'll share that with our members. So in summary, restrictions no longer uh, enforceable. Thank you, Supreme Court. And uh, Clarence Thomas, Great, great uh, opinion. And uh, ammunition, no restrictions on ammunition in the Commonwealth. So pick yourself out a good uh, brand name defensive cartridge and keep that gun loaded to the fullest extent by law. Train, train, train. Open carry. Open carry is not illegal in Massachusetts. It is, however, led to many revocations by overzealous police officers. So we would uh, encourage you, if you're carrying a firearm for your protection and the protection of your others, certainly carry that uh, concealed. Uh, but do note, open carry is not prohibited specifically by statute, has led to many revocations. Talk with a lot of police officers around the state. Some have no problem with it. Others say, yeah, we're going to have a talk with you and we, we may revoke your license. It'll be interesting to see if any cases come out of that. So thanks for paying attention. Do some of your research. Take a look at chapters 269, section 10 through 10... F, I believe it is, and of course, chapter 140, section 121, all the way up to 131S, I believe it is now. So take care, be safe, and thanks for being a member of Gun Owners Action League. In closing, not legal advice. If you do need counsel, please take a look at Goal's webpage, click on links, follow that down to attorney's listings. Have a great day.